hi guys welcome back i hope all is well i hope everyone's having a great day on today i have a haul video for you i am excited about this haul video because now i will be able to use some of these things i try not to use things that i purchase until i do a haul video so i have some things <coughs> excuse me some things from four or five months ago that i purchased that i haven't been able to use because i haven't done a haul video so let's get started first we're going to start off with happy mail and this come from the lovely karen karen has a channel it is karen colors check it out really really sweet person really sweet and karen bought me this set of washi tape And this was a Christmas gift from Karen. And we have a solid color with, I like those, that's pretty. Pretty, pretty. Thank you, Karen. I will have a link below for Karen's channel. All right, my next happy meal comes from the lovely Norma. Her channel is Norma Jean Color With Me. Check her out. That is my sister from another mister. <laughs> love her, I love her, I love her. And this is a Christmas present from Norma. This beautiful case. And this is the kind of cases I like. I don't like the cases that you could fit Three pencils and one, I don't like that. This is the one that I love. Thank you, Norma. And Norma also purchased me this book that has been on my wish list forever. And I never bought it for myself. Why, I don't know. When I got the book and I opened it up, I cannot wait to use gel pens in this book. Like neon gel pens at that so pretty i'm so excited i can't wait to color in this book and i will have a link below to everything you see here today all right my next happy mail is from the awesome my partner in crime crystal colors and crystal bought me these for christmas y'all i had my eye on uh these but they are pricey, so I was like, okay, I'll wait a little while. Actually, this is not the set. I actually had my eye on, I actually had, have my eye on another set, but they're just so freaking pricey. They're like $45 for the glitter set. That's insane. It's insane, but Crystal bought me this set, regardless of the price. Thank you so much, Crystal. And this is, I'm sorry, y'all, I'm all over the place. This is the Arteza Real Brush Pens. This is the new metallic colors. I know this is a new product. I know that, because Crystal told me. <laughs> so let's check them out. Ooh. Look how pretty, so pretty. Let's check out the colors that are underneath. That's a lot of silvers. Like four sil, like why do we need four silvers of grace? Don't understand that. Oh, but we also have like four gold. So, okay. So this is a set of 16. This is really a set of eight because you have four gold and four silver. Okay, I would have to prime them. This is how it looks. I took the liquid ink and I would have to prime it. So we'll check it out. I'll do a video on these. Thank you, Crystal, so much. I know I'm gonna love them. All right. 
next gift. This is also from Karen Colors. This is, this is the Arteza, the 18 iridescent glitter gel pens that I have wanted forever and Karen bought these for me. Thank you, Karen. And this is how they look. Can't wait to use these. I know they're great because I've seen a lot of people use them. So I know that these are great. And I, you know, I love gel pens. Thank you, Karen. Check out her channel, Karen Colors. All right. My last, I think my last bit of happy mail is some books. And this is how we'll get into the books. I'm going to bring you up some. Move some light. Move the light back. Okay. Let's see. All right. These, I don't know how many books. But these are from Sharonda. Sharonda gifted me all these books. I love these books because I love to outline and gel pen, like glitter gel pen. I love it. I like that. And I have this book, but I have the black with the black background. So it's cool now that I have both. And I love fairies. Thank you, Sharonda. Look how cute. That's so cute. This is a really thick book. It's a lot of pages in this book. Really cute. Really nice pages. Fun pages. And they're not too much. I'm gonna have to definitely check that one out. And this is Kawhi Stingpunk. I love anything Stingpunk. So of course she picked out the best books. Another fantasy book, which I love. You could definitely use alcohol markers in this book. And last but not least, least a grayscale. Y'all know I love grayscale. Love, love, love. And this is a grayscale book. I cannot wait to get in this book with alcohol markers can't wait Sharonda thank you for all the books all right we're going to start off with all the books this haul is mostly books I have no idea how many I have it's a lot of them but I've purchased these over the past months first we're going to start off with I can't pull my camera up tall enough to get this, but so I'm gonna turn it sideways because it's so big. Let me find a regular size book. This is a regular size book, and this is the book that that's right here. It's a, J, a Jane F. Hankins book, and it's the 11 by nine, I think, I wanna say. And it's huge, it's huge. And I purchased three of them because that's my address right there. So I'm gonna open this carefully so I can grab this paper out with my address on it. All right, sorry about that. But this is the big package. What I purchased is I purchased um, three books and I purchased two sets of postcards and two of the books are the small and were the regular size and one is the large I had no idea what I was really ordering everything on her website is 70% off I think she's retiring or something like that so and I've wanted one of her books forever and they were pricey and I'm like uh, I wait a while and then when I get ready to buy the book couldn't get it because I only looked on Amazon. I never thought about to look to Google her and see if, you know, she had a website. Never thought about that. But I found out about this and I went directly to the website and purchased the order 
for all of this, I paid $45 and some change with tax and shipping for all of this right here, which is amazing. So let's take a look at these postcards. They come with envelopes, which is what I like. They come with all these envelopes, which is so cool. But look at the postcards. Let's check out the paper. Oh, and it's an actual card. It's an actual card, which is really cool. That's really nice. And that's what the backs say. But is it all the same card? No. You get like... So these I would share. I'm going to share with some of my coloring friends. Because how many did we get of each? Let's see. One two three four five so i got five of these so i guess i have like three different so cute images the owls maybe four different images yeah you have this one and you have the owls so what i'll do is i'll just give one of each to some coloring friends. It don't make sense for you to keep all these. Let's see what's in this one. All right. Let's see, we have this one. Pretty. We have this one, another pretty one. I don't know, it reminds me so much of Clara Markova, so much. It's another book that I have also that reminds me a lot of Clara Markova books. And if you don't wanna buy a Clara Markova book, this could be a really good alternative if you are strictly coloring Clara Markova for, cause you like her style. A book I'm gonna show you is awesome. So yeah, these are all the postcards. And I'll make sure I make a care package for some friends. And this is the books. I don't remember what books I purchased. This is Friends, Friends from My Imaginary World. This is nine by 12, 30, 30 different illustrations. The paper is great. Really, really nice. Just very fun, whimsical, really cool. All right, that's the first one. I also ordered the imaginary garden. I definitely wanted to do the garden, and this is nine by 12. This is 25 in this one. Definitely wanted to do the garden book because I know it would have a lot of flowers, and you all know that I love to color flowers. Perforated edges, really nice paper. It is white paper. I don't know. I just have a thing for cream colored paper. All right, this book is huge. This is 11 by 14. I have to turn it this way, it's so big. And it's 25 um, drawings in this book. This is the Imaginary World Volume 1. I think Volume 2 was sold out, but the pages are huge. But this would be so fun to, to color. Just so fun. I would probably use like distressed inks, like lay a, lay a layer of that down and color this because it's so big. Pretty. All right, and that's the last Jane F. Hankins book. I will leave her um, website below. There are still some things that are there that are available. So check it out. She have um, little tote bags and pencil pencil pouches and 
shirts and just original art and just all kind of stuff. So I will have, I will leave that below for you. All right, we're gonna do books. And I'm trying to see how I'm gonna tackle all these books. Let's come down a little. All right, this is Dreamweaver. This, I don't know when this book came out. I think it was recently, not real sure, but it was a new release when I received it. And I wish I could have done a flip through because I received it a couple of weeks in advance. But yeah. And that is a mythographic book. All right, this is a grayscale book. Um, Grayscale Mandalas. It is a Amazon paper book. It's pretty cool. I've been chasing the dragon with um, Rose Windows. You guys know that's like one of my favorite books. And I have two pages left and I'll finish the book. So I've been procrastinating on finishing the book, you know, those last two pages. So I found this book, but it's nothing like Rose Windows. So, oh well. All right. And this is the book that I was talking about that if you like Clara Markova and if you can't afford it, this book, I think, in my opinion, is a great alternative. Um, this book was under $12 with the shipping. The shipping is free. Book Depository. Check it out. You can receive this book for under $12. And anything you buy on Book Depository, the shipping is free. So go there, check out Book Depository because you can get some pretty cheap books. Let me bring you down some so you can really see. But yeah, it's a lot like Clara Markova. Not the same thing, of course not, but I don't know, it just reminds me a lot of Clara Markova. Really whimsical. Just, I love the book, absolutely love it. absolutely love this book all right my next book is citizens of flora this is who is this book by i don't know this name i'll let you figure it out that name but this person hall we're calling have some pretty cool books I absolutely love the line art, the dark, thick line art. I absolutely love it. So I definitely want more by this author because I love it. And alcohol marker would be just freaking awesome in this book. So yeah, check this book out. All right, another book that if you like Grayscale, this is another one you would like. Um, this is the Magical Fairy Folk. This is by Daydream Art. I love Daydream Art. This is just absolutely amazing how this is going to look once you lay alcohol marker on top. Amazing. Amazing, amazing. I'll do a flip through. But yeah, love it. And they're all like seven, eight dollars. Okay, this mystery book. <laughs> Okay, so I'm on Book Depository, you know, stalking, looking, and I come across, I type in Hannah Carlson, and this come up, okay? And I'm like, so is that really Hannah Carlson? Is that somebody else? And it was the Hannah Carlson, and this said coloring. So I'm like, okay. And the book was like $19. So I'm like, do I risk spending my money on this book? And it's not really Hannah Carlson? But it was it's Hannah Carlson um, by a different publisher. Um, the paper is I like the paper. I really like the paper, um, especially for like a harder pencil, like a Polychromos. It's what I would definitely use in this book on this type of paper. But yeah, I'll do a flip through of this. I mean, it's all old images, but yeah, this. So just in other words, don't waste your money. If you have all of Hannah Carlson's books, you have this book. It's just longer and skinnier. Don't waste your money. All right, 
right, this next book is a release that is due out in March or February, I want to say. Um, it's not out yet in the U.S. I did order off Book Depository. It is available on Book Depository. I don't remember the cost. Um, it wasn't very expensive, but I wanted it because it's just an awesome book. I will do a flip through of this book. So this is a new release. So you will see this one soon. More books. Oh, Lord, I have a whole nother stack. Okay. This book. You know I love Rita Berman. If you've been here, you know I love her. I did not have this book. And I knew Christmas was coming. I bought this in November. I knew Christmas was coming. And last year, um, Sharonda and I did a Christmas buddy color. And we did um, the, a page out of here. Let me find it. This is the page we did, but I did it in the compilation book because this one is also in the compilation book. So we did this. It was so fun. I enjoyed it. I used uh, glitter gel pens on it and stickles and all kind of stuff like that on it. But yeah, this is Rita Berman's winter book. I did not have it. I finally have it. Excited. But I knew Christmas was coming and... I knew I wanted us to color out of the same book we did last year, you know, the Rita Berman book, but I didn't have the book. I had the compilation book, so I purchased the book. All right, th this book came out a couple of months ago, but I purchased it. I haven't done a haul since. This is the postcards to the Rita Berman book. And I want to color this page. So that's why I have it marked but this is the book and the postcards and it was it's crazy because i bought mine on book depository and i got the book and the postcards for under 20 dollars both for under 20 bucks yeah so y'all i know we love amazon i know we love amazon but and sometimes with book depository you may have to wait an extra two weeks but to me, the price is worth it to wait two weeks. I always wait two weeks. Okay, this is Maria Trolla's new book. Um, I'm not a fan of the line art because it's so thin. Really not my thing, but I bought the book anyway. You know, of course, I didn't know how the book looked, but there are some things in here that I would definitely color, but, you know, just really not my thing. But this is Maria Trump's book. But I love her books, not this little book, but her other books, because the line art is different. That line art is really thin. All right, this book came out maybe a month or two ago. I don't know, but this is Magical Earth, another mythographic book. Um, is it me, y'all, or why are we getting so many damn mythographic books? They are like back to back to back. We had one in December. We have one in January. Um, I think there's one in March. I know there's one in May because it come out on my birthday. Um, August, like 23 this year. We have like 15 mythographic books coming out. And they have they also have new illustrators now that's bringing out, you know, their editions. So it's getting crazy with the mythographic books. They're going to have, honestly, in two years, I'll need a bookshelf just for mythographic books. Because I like them, so I'm going to buy them all. <laughs> I like them. All right. This is World of Color. This is the new book that Kerber Rosanna's came out with, I think, in October. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta love him. His work is just amazing. He have a new book coming out early this year. Um, I will post a link below to his new book or um, and in the group. So if you're in the Facebook group, Coloring Divas, I'm going to post... Um, all the new books that are coming out with links so you can go and pre-order 
in the group. So check out the group. There's a link below to the group, The Color and Divas. Check it out. All right, what's next? Mystical Lands of this. Calendra? Calant? Whatever. Not even gonna chop it up. But yeah, this is the new Karen E. Myers book. I absolutely love her work. It is amazing. It's so fun. And this is another kind of like reminds me a little bit of Claire Markova. But she has her own little twist. I love it. But this is another very whimsical book that is affordable that you can try out. And this is Karen E. Myers. You've seen book, her books on my channel before. I love her. All right. This book came out a couple of months ago. I pre-ordered. I ordered from um, Book Depository. And it was around 30 some dollars, I think. But the paper is absolutely amazing. Paper is super thick. Cardstock, like super thick. It's just amazing. Like, I don't even want to color in this book because it's just beautiful. And I don't want to mess it up. Amazing. It's just an amazing book. I love it. Absolutely love it. Love it. Absolutely love it. Pricey, but worth the money. All right, my next book is the most priciest book. <laughs> um, Is it the most priciest book I ever purchased? Uh, Yeah. This is the most priciest book I ever purchased. This book was $59.99 with tax or 96 cent, $59. The most, I'm at a loss of words. Yeah, that I even played, huh, can't even talk. Paid $60 for a book, but I did. And I pre-ordered long ago. And I received it in December. Cause you know the date, they pushed the date back, but this is Clara Markova's, Mar Markova's new book. I'll do a flip through. I should have done a flip through like a couple weeks ago when I received it, but I didn't. But yeah, this is Little Secrets from My Fairy House. I love fairies. The cover is absolutely amazing. It's pink. It's pink. Okay, enough said. Love it. All right, this book. I'm thinking I have this book. I'm thinking I have this book, and then I'm thinking I don't have this book. I don't know. Let's see the side. Brown? No, I don't have it. No, I don't have it. I thought I had this book, but I didn't. But I, I purchased this book because it was on sale on Amazon. This is an eerie book. I don't know. World of Travel? I don't know. But um, if I do have this book, I'll give it away. I still have the other eerie book. The one that's wrapped all pretty to give away but i have all that stuff i need to go back and look at videos and give to you guys but that is coming very very soon i'm gonna have a video on it and bring all the prizes up and so that i had at the time late but it's okay it's, it's about to happen but this book was like six dollars or five dollars and for that much for an eerie book i had to buy it and it was on Amazon and on like a lightning deal or something, but I bought it. I don't think I have this. I don't think so. Okay, and you know, we only have about eight more books to go through. And Drea, Dirt, whatever, I always mispronounce her name. Another awesome, super awesome book. Her books are just absolutely the cutest. Like, how can you not love that? It's grayscale, and the thing is, she have the line art. So if you're not a grayscale person, which you need to stick your toe in it, you have to try grayscale. I was so intimidated, so intimidated, and somebody sent me a grayscale book. I think it was, I think it was Barbara. Barbara Winsky. 
think it was Barbara sent me a grayscale book. And since then, I've been hooked. But this, her books are just amazing. If you don't like grayscale, she have the line art version. Check it out. Check her books out, y'all. She's amazing. All right, I said this video was gonna last 30 minutes. I'm at 30 minutes, but I have been talking a lot. All right, these books. I've wanted these books forever, and I never purchased them. I ordered them on Book Depository and pay like $9, $8 for them. And this paper is like an ivory and you know, I'm loving it. This line art is thick. I just, I love it. I love it. And I'll do a flip through of all three of the books together. Cause we also have this one. And this is by Good Wives and Warriors. I just love the cream colored paper, the bold line art. I just, look at that, how fun that's gonna be to color. Just awesome. And it's a small little book. It's very, very small, small. And last but not least, Escape to Oz. There is another one, Escape to Christmas Pass. I didn't get that one. I said I was gonna buy it by the time Christmas came, but I never bought it. So maybe next year, <laughs> we'll see. It'll probably dip down in price by Christmas, you know, just pass. So I'll keep my eye on it. Cause usually Christmas books, y'all, if you want a certain Christmas book, look on Amazon now and like through the year, like in random times, because they'll bring the price, you know, way down on them. All right, planners, color and planners time we have two different ones to look at um this is by this person linka whatever yep color and planner 2023 um when i seen this i was like uh okay so let's go to the front i'll probably do a flip through of this but i just want to kind of let you peep you have a nice big calendar which is cool little area you can write some things down you have a day view and then you have some notes at the end with the illustration that you can color and then you have a for goals and your priorities and then you get back to the large calendar not bad and the price wasn't bad maybe eight bucks nine bucks it wasn't bad. All right. Uh oh. Next planner is the 2023 Creative Companion. And I'm upset with myself because by now I was supposed to have this book spiral bound. I have not made it to Office Depot to get it done. That's why I always get my. Um, planners uh spiral bound but it's the same format as it was last year um nothing has really changed it's a lot of free space to where you can kind of make it your own which i kind of like because i can kind of do what exactly what i want to do and put in the book what i really need so i like that um i plan i plan to do every month and we work out my month so we'll do January real soon where we decorate January and, and put some goals down and, and different things like that. Hopefully I will have it spiral bound by then. I'll try to drop it off maybe tomorrow. I don't know. We're supposed to have tornadoes tomorrow. So I don't know. We'll see. Ruby Charm. Love Ruby Charm colors. All right. This is Maria Trolla's new book, Trolle however you want to pronounce it. Um, beautiful book. See, this line art is a lot thicker than that other book, than that new book. So this I like, and it's on ivory paper. So yeah, definitely for me. Definitely for me. This is Maria Trella's new book. All her books are kind of looking the same. That's just my opinion. All right, we have two more books. 
And this book is... I haven't even opened it yet, I don't think. This is Home for the Holidays. This came out back in August. This is Teresa Goodridge, new Christmas book for um, last year, 22. Just beautiful. We all love Teresa's work. Just awesome. Yep. All right, my last book, but definitely not least, Rooms of Wonder. I did a flip through of this book. Um, I like the book. The line art is a little on the thin side, but I could work with it. It's a lot of, and this is strictly my opinion, it's a lot of wallpaper type pages. A lot of mandala, which I like mandalas, but it's a nice book. There's definitely some things in here that I'm definitely going to color. And can't wait to color um it's really busy like it's busy busy so i'm gonna have to find one <laughs> that don't have too much we're gonna have to find one that don't have too much i don't know it might be kind of hard y'all but this is my last book this is rooms of wonder gotta love it all right, so what we're going to start with is, I'm going to bring you down, these, all of these pencils, you see three or oddballs, because this is Prismacolor. Lavender that is PC 934 and lavender has been discontinued and but there will be a, a replacement color but I want I wanted these so lavender is being replaced as well as lilac which actually these two colors it's so crazy these two colors I use a lot together I use a lot these two colors a lot together like almost if I'm using one of these I'm using the other so um, I tried to order some and you know Blake was sold out because you know everybody knows so of course Blake is gonna sell out in a heartbeat um, I can't remember the other store that's like Blake they sold out and I couldn't find them and I only had maybe two of my own extras. Um, so I was like panicking and I'm like, okay, let me try Joann's. So I tried Joann's and I was able, I ordered 12 of one color and I ordered nine of the other color because that's, that's how many I was able to get. But one of the colors, I don't know which one, they sent me three of their own colors. They sent me three hot pinks, which they should have been these, but oh well. But I have enough of these now to last me. I will probably end up ordering some more. Why they are discontinuing these pencils, I don't know. That's just crazy. Like, leave it the way it is. If not, come out with a whole new set of pencils. Give us a 200 Prismacolor. Give us a 250. Give us some new colors. Okay, Prisma. Thank you. We're waiting on it. But yeah, I got these at Joann's. And they were pretty, they were a dollar and something, maybe a dollar and 30 some cent. Because I was able to use a 25 or 30% off coupon on my order, which took $8 off my order. So that was cool. Okay, I'm going to stop yapping because... All right, this, um, I need a way to organize my Copics. And this is the Copic color swatch card. It comes in this little thing. I'm gonna let you guys check it out. I'm sorry about the light, but yeah. It comes in this nice little case. So I need to swatch my Copics and see exactly what I have so I can 
see what I need to purchase to try and get a complete set. But they have all the colors. This is a 2021 um 21 set i think so i hope this is all the color the, you know the colors in the chart if not it'll be okay but yeah i got this on amazon it was like five bucks which is not bad because i would love to swatch them and put them in this little case and have my swatch cards in here with the uh copic case but once i get the rest of the copics because i think i have around 200 i think i have around 200 and some copics and it's like 370 something i want to say so i'm about 100 and some away it'll probably take me another few years to get there because they're expensive okay this is another book um a millie Murata postcard book which is really nice that i can definitely see myself coloring in this postcard book really nice and i got it on sale for like three bucks on the bargain table at the bookstore. So yeah, and I've been getting a lot of books on the bargain table at the bookstore, so yeah. All right, so now we're gonna go to the few little supplies that I have. This is called Cosmic Shimmer Glitter Bits. And as you see, it moves around, it's like glitter. I thought it was liquid like and I could like take a little spatula a little craft spatula and put it on my page but no it's like glitter so I hope it's okay is it just glitter it's supposed to be different types of stuff well it's two, like two different sizes it's not bad let's pick it up and look at it I d thought it definitely thought it was something else it's okay it's okay. I definitely thought it was something else, but yeah. That's the Cosmic Shimmer Glitter Bits. It's just glitter. It'll be great snow. So we'll have to use it. We could use it in a winter page. Because it'll be great snow, but just... It's not shiny enough to me for glitter. All right, what's next? Um, Let's do Dollar Tree stuff. All this little stuff is from the Dollar Tree. You know, I love these pen grips and I have a death grip on a pencil, so I need to use these. And I didn't really need more of these because I have a lot of them, but these were pastel colors, so I wanted to buy them. And then they had the plastic ones, which were also pastel colors, so I bought them. These little cute notes, sticky notes. I have several packs of these. I love these little cute paper clips. And these little book magnets, this all come from page markers, book markers, whatever. This all come from the Dollar Tree. These little, I'm going to use them as, there are many clips. So I'm going to use them for page markers and just some unicorn stickers because I like unicorns. They were very juvenile, but I bought them anyway. All right. Next is Distress Inks. This is colors I did not have, like Saltwater Taffy, um, Venomous Poison, Prize Ribbon, and sal Salvaged Patina. I did not have these colors. These are all newer colors from last year, 22, and I did not have these colors. And I think there's two more colors since this, since this last color. I think it's two more colors, three more new colors that I have don't have but honestly i like to wait a couple of months because i can get like all the colors like this because i like the small ones i don't really care for the big ones unless i catch them on sale and this is an ink pad this is just like the distressed ink but it's by spectrum noir i love these you have seen these on my channel i use these a lot this is the pure white and this is going to be awesome I don't want to open it right now, but I guess I'm going to have to to show you, huh? But this is going to be so cool to, like, paint your background with, like, acrylic paint and then use a stamp and go over it with the white if I can get in it. 
So I just thought that was really cool when I wanted this. And I love these Spectrum Noir ink pads. And see, it's white. Let's get this black paper. See, it's white. So just imagine with a stamp how you can make, how beautiful you can make a colored black uh, background with this. So cool. I'm going to have the link below to it. It was pricey. I'm just letting you know before it was pricey, but I wanted it. And it wasn't available for a long time. Okay, we don't have much, guys. Don't have much. Maybe just a few items. All right, this is Arteza Pastel Color Gouache. I'm going to open it up, let you take a quick look. It was on sale. That's why I bought it. It was Crystal's fault. All Crystal's fault. And it's the pastel colors. But it was really cheap. Like super cheap. So I had to buy it. Look at those colors. Yeah. Can't wait to color our background with that. And then use the white with stamps on top of it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, that is the Arteza gouache, the blossomy colors toned, which is pastel colors. And that's a quick look at the colors. Really, really nice. All right, guys, and this is something that I'm gonna do a review on. Um, and we're gonna compare. This is the new generation you guys know I love the difficult pins since day one, since I discovered them and I just fell in love. But this is the new generation of the Vickle pins. They look a lot different. They look a lot different. You, and this is the new colors. And they all they are dull metallic hybrid looking. So we're gonna swatch these and we're gonna compare these to the old set. And this is acne. This is the new set of them. The new colors. Second generation, I think they called it. So we're gonna check it out. So that's the shades, two shades in one. Yep. All right. This. I'm, okay, you know, just stalking Amazon. This, I'm trying to get it out of the light. This is glossy highlights. This is clear 3D medium. Kind of, this is like, a, what you call it stuff? Glossy accents? Yeah, glossy accents. But this is by Spectrum Noir. I love Spectrum Noir products. So I was like, okay, let me try that out. And I actually bought this probably about five months ago. But I haven't did a haul video, so I haven't tried it out yet. But yeah, but you get a lot of it. Let's see how, oh, wow. Oh, okay. It has a nice flowing tip on it. So this is a, a new glossy accents I'm gonna dibble and dabble with just to see, you know, see how I like it. All right, and at this, we have two more things. These little things, you guys know I love these. These come from the Dollar Tree. And I couldn't believe when I went and they had them. Um, at the time, they only had pink and purple. Now they also have the pink and purple and they also have a black and white gingham, which I totally don't want. Cause my room is, you guys know my room is basically pink with a little bit of purple, but mostly pink, but I bought the purple anyway. So I bought these to put on my bookshelf so I can store like random things like just random pens and pencils and stuff to try to get stuff off my desk. But I have a lot of these on my desk. I think I have about eight or nine of these going across the back of my desk, but they're all filled up with stuff. So yeah, I bought these. I actually don't even know if I'm gonna keep these. 
I thought about just giving them away. So I'll probably just give it, give these to y'all. And my last item, guys. No, it's not my last item, but I know the. This is another washi tape. Y'all know I'm addicted. This is the flower and butterfly washi tape that I purchased. I'm trying to get the light out of it, which is really pretty. It was like three dollars, like really cheap. <clears throat> but these, this is the last thing. I want to share you guys. I also have a lot of stuff, different products to review that was sent to me for review. You guys are going to see that first because I need to get those videos out. But yeah, these are the Indra pencils. Um, the skin set, I think they, what they want to call it. Yeah, something like that. I don't know. This is the new Indra pencils. Crystal made me do it. <laughs> All right, guys, that is it. I'm going to try to put the link to everything you see here below. Um, I know I'm missing a couple of things, but um, we'll get to that another time. But guys, if you have any questions about anything you see here, please feel free to comment below. I miss you guys. And just to let you know, I am back. I am back. I have a lot of videos filmed. I just have to, of course, edit and put them out. But I have a lot of stuff filmed already and I just can't wait to get back and I don't know about going live because my internet is so sketchy like it'll just drop so I don't know but we'll see hopefully because I miss the live streams I really do but I love you guys I miss you guys I'll see you soon